problem I want to solve today is this. There's no graduations on this. It's not very long. And yes, I can use this in theory, but um, it's a lot of effort. If you look at the lathe I'm used to, it's got these graduations on it, in addition to these, which I never use. This cheap DRO slide came with a lathe. It was attached to the cross slide, um, and there was a cable suggesting it went off to a display head somewhere, but that was nowhere to be seen. What I thought I could do is stick this on here and somehow attach this to this. When it's fully extended, there's only, what is that, 55 millimetres. I established that for the things I put in the tailstock, when they've popped out of their Morse taper, there's still a few millimetres of sleeve standing proud of the support, the tailstock support. With that established, I now had a means to attach the digital caliper to the tailstock sleeve. I would machine an, an annulus, a ring, which would clamp onto that sleeve, and uh, we'd attach one end of the digital caliper to that sleeve. Well, with not much in the way of suitable tools, I was reduced to drilling lots of holes around the thing and furcling away with a hacksaw to drag it out of the blank. It's about a 6mm plate. Then I used a couple of 10mm uh, nuts to attach it to a length of 10mm bar to make a makeshift mandrel, which I could then put in the lathe chuck for machining. Well, as is the way of these things, autumn turned into winter and eventually um, I had a round thing. Then I wanted to face both sides and take a little bit of the width off. It was a bit tricky um, because I had to stand the part away from the face of the chuck to avoid hitting the jaws, which meant I needed to align it using a dial test indicator. That tailstock sleeve is 35mm in diameter, so I had to bore out the, the ring to, uh, to fit that. Well, I've drilled and tapped two holes, one here which aligns with the keyway, and one up here which the um, DRO will sit on. I've cut this bolt down so that it sits more snugly. I might cut the head off and put a slot in it so it sits surface flush. I don't know. And then the, th the thinking will be to sit this on here somehow. Grease nipples are a problem. It will sit between them. Uh, but I don't know if the, I'll cl clearing the handle, I'll have to cut some of this off. So let's take this out. So this will locate on there. Um, this will sit between the grease nipples, preferably. But I don't know, because it'll have to come, you can, they, nothing can be greased with this on here anyway, so it'll have to be somehow conveniently removable. Or maybe I'll just never grease my nipples, I don't know. I'll take this down to alleviate any stress there might be, or, or I just might sit it on some double-sided tape. Um, quite readable, um, in daylight anyway. Uh, so I don't know, some logistical stuff to sort out, but I think that'll be a job for tomorrow. So I drilled a hole in the left hand end and cut the right hand end off. Now here you can see I've got it mounted on the tailstock. It's stuck down with some double sided tape and the left hand end is screwed to the ring that I made with an M5 bolt. Um, the thinking behind the double sided tape is it will have minimal impact on accuracy which in any case is not that critical for a, a tailstock DRO um, and I can remove the thing easily enough um, should I want to grease my nipples once in a blue moon. But there is a problem, the, the bolt there is an M5 bolt and its external diameter is about 4.74 millimetres and the only drill, the closest drill I had was a 5 millimetre drill which means there's some play. So your mission is to tell me how to get rid of that. 
it's about 0.3 of a millimeter and as I say it doesn't really matter but it bothered me and I wanted to get rid of it so here's what I came up with this is the ring which I made to fit over the sleeve of the tailstock and this is the bolt which goes into the end of it and this is the body of the tailstock this is the body of the DRO which is stuck to the tailstock with double sided tape and this is the scale which goes through the body of the thing and what I did was come up with a countersunk bolt the benefit of that is that the countersunk head will self locate in the center of the oversized hole um, the problem was then that as you tighten the bolt the um, scale, the green scale would flex downwards meaning that the DRO would lose steps so the final part of the solution was to put um, a rubber o-ring between the sleeve and the scale and that pushes upwards and so you can pinch the scale and with the appropriate level of tension in the uh, countersunk bolt um, it auto locates with a very good degree of accuracy and stability and it doesn't flex down so the DRO doesn't lose any step. Well here's the thing in action I'm going to wind it in here I think nine millimeters and then bring it back out again and it ends up being exactly perfectly in agreement with the DTI um, at the end but along the way it does display errors of up to five hundredths of a millimeter in either direction so there's no systematic error but you know for a tailstock DRO as I said earlier half a mil would be entirely good enough for me and five hundredths of a mil is is stonking and this was free and um, took about three hours to do so job done